great green galloping grass of us was that? Must have been some kind of freak electrical storm. Locking mechanisms in the cell doors are frozen open. There's no chance to escape. What could have caused it? Who cares? We all need to care about this, I'm afraid. Inmates, why don't we sit down, have a nice cup of tea, and talk about this? Reunited at last. They found you in the vault. My beautiful MP5K, my lovely Olga. The notorious Reznov Stroganov. I say, old boy, put the gun down, eh? That's mentito. I say, the foot is on the other snowshoe. Uh, the turrets have tabled. Say hello to my little friend. There's nothing left. The earth, it's, it's gone. There's nothing left. As I was trying to say, we are all in this together. If we're going to survive, we're going to... Zayna, what are you doing here? Betrayer. I never betrayed you. I know I must have led them right to you. Enough of the backstory. What do you mean it's gone? Destroyed. And the moon. And the Martian colonies. And most of this prison. It's a miracle we're still alive. Alright, Pete. Um, I just need to inform you that... Oh, well, it's really nice to hear you chatting, you being the last members of the human race left in the galaxy and everything, but uh, structural integrity is at 20%. There's, there's, uh, there's a shit, the UE resilient in the hangar. Check us. Chaps, I'm in command. This solar catastrophe could have disastrous knock-on effects on Skaros and Evrusia. She's not wrong. Long-range scans suggest they are in a right old pickle. Really? Massive gravitational shift. Complete atmospheric disintegration. There's life support systems on board, and enough supplies for about a hundred people. You're right, we have to help them. Can't we just find some new worlds to conquer and explore? Yes, Red Decker. I like you. It's just not a decent thing to do. Dave? Yes, Captain? Um, engage the plasma core. Activate the thrusters. Ready the teleporters. Set a course for Scarosphere through to you. Aye, aye. Engage.
As far as we know, the last remaining Earthlings left in existence. We welcome you. Thank you for saving us. Such devastation, such oblivion. I've never been so scared. It was our duty to help. How can they be here? Is this some trick? Chill out. No trick. We all in this together. Monster went kablooey, and now we all have to pick up the pieces. The latest chapter in the dark and tragic history of the Scarrans. Not just tragic for the Scarrans, you self-obsessed lizards. Tragic for everyone. I lost my bloody dog. My family. I lost my whole family. Mine's too. What does it matter? Let, let's not fall apart, okay? How about we, uh, have a cup of tea? What are we going to do? Where are we going to go? For all we know, the entire habitable universe has been destroyed. We don't exactly have a plan. What about Unthru? Let's go to Unthru. Maybe we can see Mummy and Daddy on Unthru. Little ones, little ones, shh. Your Mummy and Daddy are at peace. Don't fret now. I know about this. I researched your culture. A planet of prosperity. Just legends. Stories. For children. Um, sorry to um speak, but there might be something in this un through thing. Shut up, outcast! How dare you speak? He didn't mean it. Forgive him. It's just what he means is there's something in our legends too. Superstition, which we high class have superseded long ago. Did you say that the Earth Sun destroyed our world? Destroyed my bloody dog? Do Earthlings cause all this somehow? Calm down, we're in this together, in the same boat. Space boat. Frosty. I think we need to break the ice, don't we? What? Ah, what's that? No, no, it's just a ship's computer, don't worry. Uh, what do you mean, Dave? Oh, well, I was reading this book, right? The Canterbury Tales. Um, it's a bit rude, actually, but anyway. It's about these peeps who's on a really long journey, and to pass the time and get to know each other, they tell each other stories. That's nice, isn't it? We should do that. What the hell else are we going to do? All right, everyone, gather round. Now, we're gonna work as a team, we're gonna get to know each other, have a good time, tell some stories. Listen, man over there, how about you start us off? And now I'll tell you a tale of scarron pain and suffering. But disgusting. To suffer scone self-pity is a fate even worse than planetary destruction. But come on, that's a bit rude. It's nothing we're not used to, Captain. Well then, Ephrusians, why don't you go first? All right, we will. You, slave, speak. Yes, master. Many moons ago, Frocusts came from the distant lands of Unthru, past the triple sons of Chronix. They ravaged the lands in search of all food. Safe areas became overpopulated. However, it is tradition that we all must share and find harmony. Fortunately, some Erosians disagreed with that tradition and struggled to find the balance between um, sharing and eating. Riots began to break out among them. Eventually, one side emerged with a plan. Their solution was to banish about 75% um, of the population into the uh, focused-filled wilderness. And, uh, as is only right, while the newfound upper class basked in the, uh, safety and comfort of tea and biscuits. And the lowborns, like me, were left to survive. Brilliant story. Masterfully told. Well, of course it's a good story. It's the best story. <laughs> you see yourselves as the perfect society, but that's not the whole truth, is it? What do you know, Earthling? Something I read in the work of Dr. Isla. Now I see it for myself in the way that you oppress your own kind. <sighs> what is it with you two? Let's have it then. Let's have the gosh darn backstory. I suppose it all started when the Earth government banned all research on alien life, including the Scarrans and Evolutions. 
Because the Evolutions of Scarons had alternative energy sources, the Solar Energy Company was in league with the United Earth Government, controlling the research so only they could sell the energy and get rich and stay in power. I was close to a breakthrough while translating alien mythology to discover Unfru. Evidence was pointing to a location in the Flamingo constellation. Just then, Zena's hologram head appeared, saying that she had hacked into my database because she wanted to help me. While I was sending the message from my end, apparently the FBI was listening in to the call. So in a way, I accidentally led them to the both of us. Isla and I arranged to meet in person at the park near my laboratory. On the day, I was waiting for Isla to turn up, but while I was waiting, the FBI was waiting and arrested me. When I arrived at the park, I spotted the FBI agents. Feeling heartbroken that Zena betrayed me, I tried to escape and got caught. And then, we both ended up in the same prison, Cosmetraz, and we didn't realise until today. He never betrayed me. I made a mistake. A tender tale, a friendship reunited. It warms each one of my heart. Don't you see my focused eating jungle dwelling kin? See what? This human, Dr. Isla, has bravely defied the tyranny of her planet's government. She brings the inspiration for us to do the same. Exactly. You challenge us? Bah! How dare you challenge us? Our planet is gone. The Evrugian world order is no more. Why shouldn't we challenge you? Oh, for crying out loud, what the hell does it even matter? Come on, sneak, that's not the last. What the hell are we going to do? Rebuild the entire civilization, just the four of us? We're the last of our race and we've been horribly unkind to our own. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Why? I don't want to be with them. Sorry to intrude this beautiful moment, but isn't it our turn to tell our story? It all started long, long ago. At that time, Scarron was a beautiful, prosperous world. One of the young Scarron girls, Militia, created a supremely intelligent robot. The robot issued a strange and frightening prophecy. Disaster would strike at the planet and the Scarrens must build a spaceship and leave. The robot told them that Unthru, a new world awaited them beyond the golden asteroid belt. Militia listened carefully to her invention and had faith in the prophecy. She informed the Scarron elders they did not believe her. With their arrogance, they dismissed her idea immediately. Militia returned to her creation and explained her troubles. She realised that the computer had become more powerful than her own kind. It grew more intelligent and turned on Militia and the Scarrons. The robot threatened to release a disaster that would wipe out all of the Scarron race. In an attempt to stop this, the girl tried to destroy her robot. It was too late and caused the sun to send solar flares across the skies of Skaros. The flares crashed into Skaros, creating radiation and forcing the population underground. This destroyed most of the technology. Militia was killed by her own creation. The government and elders realised that their society was finished and that Militia was right. But the Scarons would not give up. They went underground and rebuilt their culture as great subterranean cities which stood for centuries until this new disaster. But that, that is the Scarron spirit fight for survival. I like your lizard people. I like your spirit. Thank you, strange psychopathic human. It was a good story, wasn't it? It brings a tear to the eye. You mean it would? if we had tear ducts. But you're right, Stroganov. This is the spirit we need. We were wrong about you, Scones. <laughs> Sorry, Scarons. In the face of disaster, we find new hope. And out of necessity, new friendships are formed. Sorry, but you're standing on my toe. Oh, I do beg your pardon. I feel so good about myself. I feel like I've become a better person. You're right, Dave. 
It really was a good idea to tell each other stories. Yeah, all right, peeps. They were some good old yarns, weren't they, for sure. But did you notice something? I don't think so. Notice what? Good fruit. Of course. Yes, each story independently confirmed it. So it's real. Oh, there's something out there, defo. I triangulated the clues while she were yapping, plotted a course, and it leads us straight to the Obsidian Nebula. How long will it take us to get there? At uh, maximum velocity. Stop for a picnic along the way. Six months? Six months? Let's do it. It's perfect. It gives us long time to tell more stories along the way. Lizard people, I am strong boy, like you. Let me tell you how I lost my eye. Good boy! Once upon a time, one day, so, a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Once upon a time, once there was this massive uh, volcano. So a long time Colours of yellow, crimson and gold. Waves of energy went everywhere. Finally, it exploded. There was lava everywhere. Forces of light and darkness were fighting each other. And then you never guess what happened after that. What happened? It was mental. Mantle. It was madness. One of the craziest of Vikings, and it's called the Gruffin. Well, let me tell you about this little old lady I found in a tree. The sea, we went so rough, you couldn't even... There was lightning everywhere. And then a giant came rushing through. There was these snake-like creatures called scourons. Unfortunately for him, I did not die. I caught the bullet with my left eyelid. Unfortunately for the decided to go to the cow's house yeah. because he, he found bread there before so yeah. he asked the cow do you have bread one day she went to the and then let me tell you the story of the way in the green night, right? It all starts off with King Arthur's court and then Christmas. It's great to go. I'm so worried. Oh my gosh, the worst. There were these two people who were best friends. And suddenly they got to the party. 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 Straight up out of the water, like, I hadn't uh -uh. even been there before, literally, mental. Like, <laughs>